Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is small. There it goes. <laughs> this is Undertale. What is this, like episode five? Five. I think it's episode five. I just got done recording, um, uh, let's go, uh, recording Lumber Tycoon 2. And thank you guys for hanging out with me and letting me sign your bases and all that good stuff. Uh, hold on, what are our stats at the moment? We are 20 of 20. Um, okay, so let's go to the inn. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Snowden Premier Hotel, one night, eighty stay, let's stay. Here's your room key, bundle up. So, um, it's gonna be two minutes while we sit here and wait for them to snore away. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were up there for like two minutes. Here's your money back. <coughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that it's a like a free night stay. And look, look at our stats. We're now 30 of 20. So still have 132 gold. We've done all of this, by the way. If you've not seen the last episode, go and watch the last episode. It was amazing. Um, there's not really anything to eat at Grillsby's. Library had some cool things in it. This is what we're doing. Hello. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place like to spend a lot of time. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. <coughs> All right. We're going on a date. Wait. <laughs> My house. <laughs> what was the point of walking? Uh, okay. Now, because of the time and uh, time frame that I'm in, hello, welcome to, <clears throat> welcome to scenic, welcome to scenic my house, scenic my house, enjoy and take your time. Okay, uh, what's this, you touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound, you found a bunch of loose coins inside the couch, you got 20 gold. I think it's gold. It just says geez. That's my brother's pet rock. He's always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> nice. Okay, the kitchen. My brother's always goes out to eat, but recently he tried to baking something. It was like a quiche but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. I think that's what a quiche is. <laughs> Why is there a sink on top of the thing? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sans, stop plunging. Pla stop plaguing my life with in din in din in incidental music. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please per uh, peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers of labeled all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Uh, what is this? It is a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Why? The logic. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. 
E yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book, there's another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> oh, that's a funny joke. Okay, what's this a picture of? A classic image. It, uh, it always reminds me of what's important in life. <laughs> that's my room! If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do on their dates. Go inside? Nope. The door is locked. We know Sans is in there. Alright. Blah 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 blah. Alright. Go inside? Yes. <laughs> He's got a car bed. He's got a car bed! That's my bed. If I ever get the chance to surface, to go to the surface, I'd like to drive it down a long highway. Wind in my hair. You don't have hair. Sun on my skin. You don't have skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> hey, those are all my attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically just happened. Computer? The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in the goof, goof in a goofy font. It's your brother, dude. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. <laughs> what are these? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the or. Theor th for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I s have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, slimy man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> that's the books of... <clears throat> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. I'm I got I got to take a break. This is Wow. Just wow. <laughs> the next book the next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Complex manuals and, and children's books. <clears throat> Isn't that flag neato? Undown, uh, Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from a human world. Now, I know you're, what you're thinking. Why don't a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Nee! <laughs> There are no skeletons in my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. All right, dude. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start a, the date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. Date, dating start. Wait, this is a fight. Here we are on our date. I actually, I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Okay. A snagged? I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C button on your keyboard for dating HUD. All right, C. 
Whoa! Wowie, I feel so informed! <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Okay, there's there's a Friday little spinny thingy. Reel it in. Population. Egg. Crime? And then there's a radar with a dog on it. The dog goes like all over the place. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was not expecting the face. Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. <laughs> Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. <clears throat> You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> Why not? No! You planned it all! You've, you're way better at dating than I am. Dude, this is... No, your dating power. <laughs> Nee nee Don't you think you've bested don't think you've bested me yet I the great papyrus have never beaten a beaten at I've never been beaten at dating and I never will you, this is your like your first date right I can easily up you I can easily keep up with you You see I too can wear clothing In fact I um I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Meh, <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! <laughs> a genuine compliment. <laughs> Why? Why is this? What is this? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Brain? My hat? My hat. My hat. Nee. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. <laughs> it's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what it is? Is it your brain? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But no, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artesian's work. Silken spaghetti finely aged to in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. Eat it. <laughs> you take a small bite. Your face reflecting, reflectively scrunches up. It tastes this Taste is incredible and distinguishable. I don't know what that said. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Arg! Arg! Oh no! <laughs> I, I can't. I can't go any further. I'm done. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. No, not really. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hard in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. 
I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, the great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your in intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at this anything. Human, I'll help you through this, these times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act this like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle on for second best. Nay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. But that means just as friends. Platonically. Well, I've got to go. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I was a little worried at first by the whole date thing as it came up. Because, you know, family-friendly channel. and every But this was... That is more than innocent, and that was awesome. So, uh, no, we don't need to look. So, shout out to Toby Fox for the amazing date sequence. That was that was awesome, incredible. Okay, so now what? Should we go chase down that dog? Are we are we just we're en route to the next place? I guess it's locked from the inside. We're 17 minutes in, and we just barely scratched the surface of this place. Um, what do we have as far as items? We got a stick, and we got snowman piece. Uh, can we... There we go. Exit out. Mm. I, I do... I want to go save, but I also want to go and buy... Um, well, my nose is clogged, but just on the one side. Like, this side is okay, and you can tell. But then if I clog up this side, you can definitely tell that there's a there's a clog going on. <laughs> so it's like half clogged. Um, there's the inn. There's the shop. Okay, let's go to the shop real quick. I went to buy. Those bicycles, like, really worked well. We're going to get two of those. Uh, Cinnabon I don't need. Although it is 22. Okay, so 11 and 11... Or 22. So 11 plus 11 is 22. So technically I'd be saving 5 gold pieces. But there's never a time that I would actually use the full 22. I don't think. Alright. Let's 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 go ahead and exit. We're out. Isn't that... Didn't we see that symbol on the, the thing? Oh well. Come on back again sometime. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. We are saved. Um, by the way, somebody said that there was a door, that door that we explored last time with like the four mushrooms on it, and they said that if you wait there for like 30 minutes, there is some kind of creature. I don't have 30 minutes to, to wait, so I'm just gonna keep carrying on. Hey, my mouse is in the way again. All right, let's go this direction. What happens this time? Okay. Oh, that works. What is this? What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, is it like diamonds and stuff? How am I supposed to get on the ice cube? Hello. Yo, are you sneaking out of here? <clears throat> are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay. Uh, 
This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over again. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over again. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over again. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Okay. Oh, look! Save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Oh, we'll go ahead and save it. Hi, Mr. Sands. What is that back there? How do I get back there? What? Haven't you seen a guy with uh, two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to... Gribblies, want to come? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. <laughs> How fast, fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Okay, I don't know what these guys' voices were last time. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in like half an hour. <laughs> you must be thinking of brunch. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, get comfy. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. I wonder who that was, Hans. Anyways, let's order. Uh, what do you want? Fries or burger? Fries or burger? Fries or burger? Fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grisby, we'll have a double order of the fries. Is he combing his hair? So, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take... <clears throat> he'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. <clears throat> Here comes the grub. <clears throat> Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Whoops. Uh... For forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Oh. Did he just scratch his butt? <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house where the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior give him warrior training. It's a uh, still work in progress. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it? The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That escalated really quickly. Like, I, I just want to say that was, that was like an intense moment right there. Well, <clears throat> that was long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I am flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just a 10,000 G's. Sure, just kidding. <laughs> Grisby, put it on my tab. 
<sighs> By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Wait, can we can we eat the ketchup stuff? No. Because we said that your food is probably cold by now. Oh. All right. Wait, are we? How did we end up all the way back over here? <laughs> I bet it would have been easier to go the opposite direction. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. How far along are we? We got about five minutes left. Let's do this. Travel as fast as we can. That was weird what he said about the echoing flower and papyrus. All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. Sound of Russian water fills you with determination. Nice. All right, let's see if we can go further. Hey! This is a box. You can put items in it and take items out. Why, why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> use the box. Yes. We have the faded ribbon, the toy knife, uh, snowman piece. I, I think that's it. <clears throat> okay, should we... Can I go across that? Well, I guess I guess I can. Uh, dude, this totally reminds me of like Zelda. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Are these just pillars? I think these are just pillars. Okay. There's nothing behind there. Okay. Oh, look at the... Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually hurt me. It just It's really annoying. <gasps> what is that? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Let's take it. You got the old tutu. Nice. the mushrooms weird okay um, I wonder what the tutu does uh, let's just see go to items old tutu info old tutu armor defense 10 finally a protective piece of armor <laughs> okay uh, let's go ahead and use it equip the old tutu the manly bandana. Let's do info. Armor of seven. So armor of ten, armor of seven. So this is this is much better. The tutu is. Hi, Undyne. <coughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I... Uh, huh? Did I fight them? I yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul for yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... Mm -mm. I understand. I'll help you any way I can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! Run! We've only got 10 seconds left. Hey! 
Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat some up some bad guys. Oh, are you okay, dude? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save it right there. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but why am I talking this papyrus? But you stay determined. Um, should I try the next part? No, it's 30 minutes and I'm on a very limited time thing. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of Undertale. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But remember, that's just a call to action. That's what YouTube says to do. And, you know, if you go and make your own videos, you will have these little episodes and training things that they'll, they'll say, at the end of your videos, you should ask people to comment, like, and subscribe. Which is kind of contradictory to the way people do it now. Because, I mean, you're supposed to, like, start a video and then ask for, like, a billion likes and then do the video. Right? Because that's, that's how that works. Sorry. I'm still making fun of people who do that. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro! Thank you.